jayu radha madhav punya जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान लाभ गिरी बार गोपी जान बाभ गिरी बारशोदान ब्रज जान जाशोदान ब्रज जान जान जामुन तीरा बन जामुना तीरा बन जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहार जय राधा माधव कुंज गोपी जान बाभ गिरी बार गोपी जान बाभ गिरी बार जाशोदान ब्रज जान
जशोदानंदन ब्रजो जन जामुना तीरा बोनो हरी कृष्णा हरी कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी ग 
गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरी बरुणा गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरी बरुणारी जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रज प्रचार्य अष्टोत्तर शत श्री श्रीमान अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद की जय इस्कान फाउंडर आचार्य हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस शिल प्रभुपाद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नामाचार्य शिल हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवा शि गौर भक्तवृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जय श्री श्री राधा मदन मोहन की जय श्री श्री कृष्ण बलराम की जय श्री श्री गौर निताय की जय समेत भक्तवृंद की जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरे हरे ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दिम्बल दिवर्थी ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री गुरु एंड श्री गौरांग ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जयाद्वैत चंद्र जय गौरभक्तवृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जयाद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय नित्यानंद जयाद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की श्री श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्रीमन नित्यानंद प्रभु की समवेत भक्त वृंद की गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि तो टुडे इज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभुज एपियरेंस डे सेलिब्रेशन गौर पूर्णिमा महोत्सव therefore we are going to discuss from shri chaitanya charitamrita adi lila chapter 4 we'll start with text 50 which has been written on the board can everybody see it hmm? okay atoev भाव अंगीकार करी साधिलेन निज बांछा गौरांग श्रीहरि अतए भाव अंगीकार करी साधिलें निज बांछा गौरांग श्रीहरि श्री 
অতএব সেই ভাব অঙ্গীকার করি সাধিলেন নিজ বাঞ্ছা গৌরাঙ্গ শ্রীহরি অতএব সেই ভাব অঙ্গীকার করি সাধিলেন নিজ বাঞ্ছা গৌরাঙ্গ শ্রীহরি অতএব therefore shei bhav that mood ongikar kori accepting sadhilen fulfilled nija his own bancha desire gauranga lord chaitanya mahaprabhu shri hari the supreme personality of godhead translation by his divine grace shri prabhupada therefore lord gauranga who is shri hari himself accepted the sentiments of radha and thus fulfilled his own desires please repeat after me therefore lord gauranga who is shri hari himself accepted the sentiment of radha and thus fulfilled his own desire purport by shri prabhupad of the four kinds of reciprocation of loving service dasya sakhya vatsalya and madhurya Madhurya is considered the fullest but the conjugal relationship but the conjugal relationship is further divided into two varieties namely shaukiya and parokiya shaukiya is the relationship with krishna as a family as a, as formerly married husband shaukiya is the relationship with krishna as a formerly married husband and the parokiya is the relationship with krishna as a paramour expert analysts have decided that the transcendental ecstasy of the parokiya melo is better because it is more enthusiastic this phase of conjugal love is found in those who have surrendered to the lord in intense love knowing well that such illicit love with a paramour is not morally approved in society the risks involved in such love of godhead make this emotion superior to the relationship in which such risk is not involved the validity of such risk however is possible only in the transcendental realm shakyo and parokyo conjugal love of godhead have no existence in the material world the parokyo is not exhibited anywhere in vaikuntha but only in the portion of golok vrindavan known as brajo so i'll repeat this part this particular sentence once again because it's very important shakyo and parokyo conjugal love of godhead have no existence in the material world the parokyo is not exhibited anywhere in vaikuntha not only but only in the portion of golok vrindavan known as brajo some devotees think that krishna is eternally the enjoyer in golok vrindavan but only sometimes comes to the platform of brajo to enjoy parokya rash the six goswamis of vrindavan however have explained that krishna's pastimes in brajo are eternal like his other activities in golok vrindavan 
Brojo is a confidential part of Golok Vrindavan. Krishna exhibited his Brojo pastimes on the surface of this world and similar pastimes are eternally exhibited in Braja in Golok Vrindavan where Parukya Rash, Parukya Rash is ever existent. In the third chapter of this epic, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has explicitly accepted the fact that Krishna appears in this material world at the end of Dwapar Yuga of the 28th Chatur Yuga of Vaivashata Manu and brings with him his Brajadham, which is the eternal abode of his highest pastimes. As the Lord appears by his own internal potency, so he also brings all his paraphernalia by the same internal potency without extraneous help. It is further stated here in Chaitanya Charitamrita that the parochial sentiment is existent only in the transcendental realm and nowhere else. The highest form of ecstasy can exist only in the most confidential part of the transcendental world. But by the causeless mercy of the Lord, we can have a peep into the invisible Braja. The transcendental mellow relished by the gopis in Braja is super excellently featured in Srimati Radharani. Mature assimilation of the transcendental humor of conjugal love is represented by Srimati Radharani whose feelings are incomprehensible even to the Lord Himself. The intensity of a loving service is the highest form of ecstasy. No one can surpass Srimati Radharani in relishing the transcendental mellow qualities of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord Himself agreed to assume the position of Srimati Radharani in the form of Lord Sri Krishna. He then relished the transcendental highest position of Parukya Rash as exhibited in the transcendental abode of Braja. <clears throat> Om Agyanati Mirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chokshurun Militang Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtang Sthapitang Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamaiham Dadati Swapadantikam Bandehang Shri Guru Shri Jutapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavangscha Shri Rupang Sagrajatang Sahagana Raghunathan Vitang Twang Sajivam Sadvaitang Savadhutang Parijana Sahitang Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Nitangscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapto Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranam Mami Hari Priye Bancha Kalpa Tarubhascha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Patitanang Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Shri Gaur Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gop Gopinath Shyam Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Gaur Vardhan Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Gaur Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Taptukanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari 
वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अतएव से भाव अंगीकार करी साधिलें निज बांछा गौरांग श्रीहरि देर फोर लर्ड गौरांग हु इज श्री हरि हिमसेल्फ accepted the sentiment of radha and thus fulfilled his own desire so <clears throat> this is the 50th verse from the fourth chapter of adi lila of shri chaitanya charitamrita so here it has been pointed out why shri krishna fulfilled his desire appearing as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu accepting the mood of shrimati radha so in this verse it has been very clearly indicated that krishna appeared as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu assuming the mood of shrimati radha who is krishna who is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself in the mood of shrimati radha and why did he assume the mood why did he accept the sentiment of radharani in order to fulfill his own desire now what was the desire uh, that we briefly discussed yesterday that krishna wanted to find out what is the glory of radharani's love how great is the love of shrimati radharani shri chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna wanted to know that Krishna wanted to know what is there in him that attracts Shrimati Radharani and Krishna wanted to know by loving him what kind of joy Shrimati Radharani experiences so in order to understand these three things Krishna had to come Krishna had to assume the mood of Shrimati Radharani साधिलें निज बांछा गौरांग श्री हरि एंड दिस परपोर्ट इज वेरि वंडरफुल दैट्स वाई वी एक्चुअली सिलेक्टेड दिस वर्स टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ दिस परपोर्ट इन दिस परपोर्ट शिल प्रभुपाद हेड एक्सप्लेन दैट देर आर फोर Uh, loving exchange loving mellows there are those are uh, known as uh, dasya sakhya vatsalya and madhurya and of these four mellows uh, the madhurya is the highest hari krishna so you just arrived huh? the flight was all right okay so the madhurya is the highest and then proper explains in the purport that madhurya melo also has is of two types a madhurya means conjugal relationship conjugal relationship so conjugal relationship is of two kinds shokyo and parokyo shokyo is where krishna has krishna is rather the queen's relationship with krishna in dwarka is shokyo but parokyo is the gopi's relationship with krishna in vrindavan 
what is the difference between Shakyo and Parukyo? What is the difference between Krishna's relationship with the queens in Dwarka and Krishna's relationship with the gopis in Vrindavan? What is the difference? The difference is in Dwarka, Krishna is married to the queens. Whereas in Braja, Krishna is not married to the gopis. So, uh, the loving exchange between husband and wife relationship is Shakyo. Whereas, the loving exchange uh, between Krishna and para his, pa his lovers, his beloved gopis, uh, to whom, with whom he, wa he was not married, uh, is uh, Parukhya. So it has been pointed out between these two relationships, uh, of all the relationships, conjugal is the highest and among conjugal, uh, parukhya uh, is the highest. Uh, where Krishna, re Krishna's relationship with the uh, gopis is not formally approved, formally marriage. So, <coughs> now Prabhupada is also pointing out that this conjugal relationship with Krishna is available only in the spiritual sky. It is not available in the material nature. Shakyo and Parokyo conjugal love of Godhead have no existence in the material nature. So one cannot just say, well, I will uh, seek, I will develop a relationship with Krishna uh, in conjugal male. No. In the material nature, only two types of relationship with Krishna is possible. Not even conjugal. Uh, only even uh, friendship, even parental is not available in the material nature. They are only exclusively available in the spiritual sky and nowhere else. Not even in Vaikuntha, what to speak of the material nature. So in the material nature, as I mentioned, there are only two types of relationships are possible. They are Shanta and Dasya. Uh, Shanta is inactive and Dasya is active. When one just meditates upon Krishna, that is, that is Shantarash, neutral. But when one becomes engaged in rendering service to Krishna, that is Dasya or Servitorship. So when it comes to developing a relationship, we can only develop a relationship in the mood of servitorship. Only in these two mellows. Now one may say, why, what's wrong with friendship? We cannot force friendship with Krishna. We cannot forcibly say, that Krishna, I want to be your friend. Because uh, friendship is among equals. Now who, in order, that means in order to become a friend of Krishna, we have to become equal to Krishna. So who can become equal to Krishna? Now look at parental. Uh, parental is, Krishna is inferior and the devotee is superior. So who can become superior to Krishna? So is it possible for anyone to become superior to Krishna or equal to Krishna? No. But if Krishna wants to become our equal, then it is possible. If Krishna wants to become our junior, uh, inferior to us, Krishna can do that. So this equality uh, subordination uh, and uh, 
conjugal, these three relationships can be available only when Krishna offers it to us. We cannot say that we are going to have these relationships with Krishna. In this respect, huh, just to make this point clear, uh, we can make we can just make a consideration. Like friendship means what? Uh, what do the friends do? Uh, friends play, right? And when they play, they have certain conditions also in the games. Uh, like, uh, say for example, one of the games they play in Vrindavan is wrestling. They wrestle. Krishna wrestles with his cowherd boyfriends. And in that wrestling bout, if someone loses, when somebody, the loser has to carry the winner on his back. So in the wrestling bout match, sometimes Krishna loses. And then the winner, Krishna's friend, demands that Krishna now, now you have, have to uh, carry me. But, but Krishna refuses to carry him. He says, no, I'm not going to carry you. He says, look, this was a condition. Then Krishna, then, the, then Krishna says, no, I didn't lose. There was a banana peel and I slipped on that banana peel and you jumped on me and you claimed that you won. <laughs> but the friend says, no, Krishna, you are lying. That is not true. Uh, I made so much effort. I used so much energy to defeat you. And now that I defeated you, you are refusing to carry me on your back. Uh, then, uh, when Krishna refuses still to carry him, the friend forces his way onto Krishna's back. Uh, he uh, grabs Krishna and puts his leg on <laughs> two sides of Krishna's <laughs> neck, on his shoulder he climbs up and says, Now Krishna, you carry me. <laughs> now which devotee will ever dare to go on to the altar <laughs> and put his foot on the body of the altar, on the deity? Will anyone ever dare to do that? Huh? Can anybody do dare to do that? So that is the that is an example of why and how we cannot force our relationship with Krishna. <coughs> but if Krishna, in, then the question arises: Then how come the devotees in Braja, Vrindavan, uh, has that kind of relationship with Krishna? Because Krishna allows them. Krishna has become a cowherd boy. Krishna has become their equal. No jiva, no living entity can become equal to Krishna. But Krishna can become a living entity's equal. That is possible. And that is what Krishna does in Vrindavan. So, <coughs> so that is uh, the meaning of this statement of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, that this conjugal melo is not possible uh, in this material nature. Why did Prabhupada make this point so emphatic? Because uh, there are some people, they are known as Sahajiyas. They have some sort of deviant philosophy and in that they kind of develop this kind of uh, they want to develop this kind of relationship with Krishna. Oh, I am a Sakhi, I am a Gopi. Uh, and uh, sometimes they even wear sari. Male, they're men. Uh, but in order to experience Gopi Bhav, uh, they wear sari. So these are, uh, this is not devotional service, it is simply uh, a disturbing element. It's disturbance. So, <clears throat> that's why Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur fought uh, so strongly, so valiantly, 
to stop all these nonsense activities. Rupanu go viruddhapa siddhanta dhanta hari. Now this actually leads to a very interesting point. Why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came? Why Krishna came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Srila Prabhupada gave a hint of that point. Uh, his pra uh, Prabhupada is saying that this point has been this had been further explained in the third chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. So there, therefore we are going into the third chapter of Adi Lila of Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mm. <coughs> I will read from the verse 5 onwards. Purna Bhagavan Krishna Brajendra Kumar Goloke Brajer Shaho Nitta Bihar Lord Krishna, the son of the king of Vraja, is the supreme lord. He eternally enjoys transcendental pastimes in his eternal abode, Golok, which includes Vraja Dham. So those who are translating, do they have Chaitanya Charitamrita? Raga Pandit, Chaitanya Charitamrita hai tumhare paas? Hindi Chaitanya Charitamrita hai hi haan? Adi Leela? Nahi hai, Bangla hai? Bangla tumra ye kurcho. Bangla kurcho. Achha, how come Hindi Chaitanya Charitamrita is not here? They didn't translate Chaitanya Charitamrita? What happened before one year? <laughs> Why didn't you? Hmm? In Bombay they don't have any? We should have Chaitanya Charitamrita. Okay. So, so Raghav Pandit, Hindi Anubhat Karne Me Taklif Hota Hai? Ye Jo Mai Bol Raha Hoon? Haan? Ye Samaj Gaye Hai? Acha Thik Hai, Iska Anubhat Mai Hindi Me Kar Dete Hoon. Mai Kar Raha Hoon. Haan? Padte Huye. Purna Bhagavan Krishna Brajendra Kumar Goloke Brajer Shaho Nitta Bihar. Lord Krishna, the son of the king of Raja, is the Supreme Lord. He eternally enjoys transcendental pastimes in his eternal abode, Golok, which includes Brajadham. <coughs> Brajendra Nandan Shri Krishna, Matla Vrindavan ke Shri Krishna, Jo. नंद महाराज के पुत्र हैं वो है पूर्ण भगवान कल मैं विचार किया था हां कि कृष्ण अवतार नहीं है कृष्ण अवतारी है मतलब कृष्ण स्वयं भगवान है और ये ब्रजेंद्र कुमार श्री कृष्ण परमेश्वर भगवान पूर्ण भगवान स्वयं भगवान श्री कृष्ण गोलोक में अपना लीला नित्य विराज विलास करते हैं ब्रज जो गोलोक का एक अंतर्गत स्थान है गोलोक और गोलोक का अंतर्गत है ब्रज या ब्रज धाम ठीक है ब्रह्मार एक दिने तिहो एक बार Abhutirna hoiya karen prakata bihar. Once in a day of Brahma, he descends to this world to manifest his transcendental pastimes. <coughs> Brahma ji ka ek din mein, unho ne ek var is bhaut jagat mein prakat ho kar, prithvi par prakat ho kar, aapna lila vilas karte hai. कहाँ करते हैं ब्रिंदावन में हाँ 
সত্য ত্রেতা দাপর কলি চারি যুগ জানি সেই চারি যুগে দিব্য এক যুগ মানি উই নো দ্যাট দেয়ার আর ফোর এজেস যুগাস নেমলি সত্যা ত্রেতা দ্বাপর অ্যান্ড কলি দিস ফোর টুগ্যাদার কম্প্রাইজ ওয়ান দিব্য যুগ সত্যযুগ ত্রেতা যুগ দ্বাপর যুগ আর কলি যুগ ইয়ে চার যুগ হ্যাঁ और इस चार युग इकट्ठा कर होकर एक दिव्य युग का गणना होता है एक दिव्य युग बनता है देर फोर युग सत्य युग त्रेता युग द्वापर युग एंड कली युग एंड टुगेदर दे कंप्राइज वन दिव्य युग एक चतुर्युगे एक मन्नतर चौद मन्नतर ब्रह्मार दिवस भीतर ब्रह्मा के एक दिन में चौदह मन्नतर होता है अच्छा सेवेंटी वन दिव्य युग कंस्टिट्यूट वन मन्नतर देर आर फोर्टीन मन्नतर इन वन डे ऑफ ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा का एक दिन में चौदह मन्नतर होता है और एक एक मन्नतर का स्थिति कितना है इकहत्तर चतुर्जुग तो सो ब्रह्मा का एक दिन में कितना मन्नतर कितना युग होता है एक हजार एक हजार चतुर्जुग में ब्रह्मा का एक दिन होता है और इकहत्तर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय चौदह वैसे लगभग एक हजार तो ब्रह्मा का एक दिन में चौदह मन्नतर और जो सप्तम मन्नतर हैं वो हैं वैवशत मन्नतर वैवशत मनु का तो इसका वर्णन हुआ है वैवशत नाम ए सप्तम मन्नतर सताइस चतुर्युग ताहार अंतर तो एक मन्नतर में कितना युग होता है हाउ मेनी जुगर्स आर देयर चतुर्जुगर्स आर देयर इन वन मन्नतर गोलमाल करते हाउ मेनी मन्नतर आर देयर हाउ मेनी चतुर्जुग आर देयर इन वन मन्नतर सेवेंटी वन तो ब्रह्मा का इन वन डे ऑफ ब्रह्मा देर आर फोर्टीन मन्नतर The seventh manantar is the seventh manantar is known as vaivashata manantar. Vaivashata manuka manantar. Manantar ek ek manuka jo sthiti hai usko ek ek manantar. कहा जाता है तो एक मन्नतर में इकहत्तर चतुर्युग होता है तो वैवश तो मनु का जो मन्नतर है उस मन्नतर का 27 मन्नतर अतिक्रम होने के बाद 28 मन्नतर जो है उस मन्नतर का द्वापर युग में स्वयं भगवान श्री कृष्ण आते हैं तो इस मन्नतर कौन सी मन्नतर है वट इज दिस मन्नतर दिस इज दैट वैवशत मन्नतर और ये कौन सी है विच चतुर्युग इज दिस दिस इज ट्वेंटी एट चतुर्युग एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द्वापर युग एट द एंड ऑफ द्वापर युग टूअर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द्वापर युग कृष्ण मैनिफेस्टेड हिज ब्रज लीला right he manifested his brajalila so in this manantar it all happened in this chatur yuga it and it happened just the dwapar yuga before this ashtobingsho chatur yuge dapore sheshe brojer sohite hoy krishner prakashe 
at the end of the dwapar yuga of the 28th dibba yuga lord krishna appears on earth with the full paraphernalia of his eternal brajadham hmm. dasho shakho vatsallo shringar chari ras chari bhaver bhakto joto krishna tar bosh sarvitashrip sarvichud dasya friendship sakya parental affection and conjugal love shringar are the four transcendental mellows by the devotees who cherish these four mellows lord krishna is subdued when a devotee offer render service in this four mellows then krishna becomes subdued by him suno bhagwan prabhupad ko jab pranam karenge is side se karna us side se agar karte ho to pair kahan rehta hai kahan rehta hai समझे ना एवरीबॉडी मेक इट अ पॉइंट डोंट ऑफर ओबेसेंसेस टू प्रोपर्स फ्रॉम दैट साइन बिकॉज देन योर फीट आर शोइंग टू द डेटीज दास शाखा पिता माता कांतागण लोइया रोजी क्रिया करे कृष्ण प्रेमाविष्ट होइया अब absorbed in such transcendental love lord krishna enjoys in braja with his devoted servant friends parents and conjugal lovers so in vrindavan in braja krishna becomes absorbed in the transcendental love with his servants friends parents and conjugal lovers so what is the specialty of braja leela the specialty of braja leela is that all the four mellows are experienced in braja leela what are those four mellows servitorship friendship parental and conjugal jothishtu bihari krishna kore antar dhan अंतर्धान करी कर मन अनुमान अंतर्धान करी मन अनुमान लर्ड कृष्ण एनजय ट्रांसेंडेंटल पास टाइम एज लंग एज उज एंड देन हि डिसपियर्स आफ्टर डिसपियरिंग हाउ एवर हि थिंक्स दस सो कृष्ण एनजय पास टाइम इन ब्रज एंड अंटिल हि एज लंग एज यू वॉन्ट्स and then he disappears so he appears and he disappears that is the uh, thing about the supreme personality of god the supreme for the supreme personality of god head is is a matter of appearance and disappearance he like us doesn't take birth or die appearance and disappearance then what did krishna consider after he disappeared he considered aishwarya gyanete sob jagat mishrito aishwarya shithil preme nahi mor prito knowing my opulences the whole world looks upon me with awe and veneration but devotion made feeble by such reverence does not attract me everybody knows the opulence of the supreme personality of god he is the supreme personality of god he is the supreme creator he is the supreme controller he is the supreme maintainer and he is the supreme destroyer so every when one knows that generally uh, people know that and uh, they serve krishna with awe and reverence how does one serve the supreme personality of godhead in great respect and veneration uh, but krishna considers that in this awe and reverence 
my devotion becomes uh, my devotion becomes feeble becomes weak devotion in this loving in in this awe and veneration uh, becomes feeble or weak for example what is devotion devotion is love right and when there is awe and veneration in love then uh, love becomes weak love becomes feeble uh, like <clears throat> uh, somebody developed a relationship uh, with somebody so somebody became a friend of somebody and then he gets to know that he is the son of a very rich man or very big man then immediately what happens uh, he feels oh you are the son of such and such person uh, and the friendship then becomes weak he can't treat him like a friend anymore so similarly when one <coughs> knows that krishna is god he cannot really develop uh, a deep devotion or loving devotion with krishna so krishna considers that that awe and veneration weakens the devotion and in that weak devotion i do not enjoy i do not enjoy that uh, devotion that has become weakened by uh, awe and veneration and when one renders devotional service in awe and veneration that is called boidhi bhakti and krishna says that the whole world is filled with uh, boid uh, this awe and veneration and the devotion that they experience the practice is uh, boidhi bhakti oishorjo gyane vidhi bhajan koriya वैकुंठ के जाए चतुर्विध मुक्ति पाइया बाय परफॉर्मिंग सच रेगुलेटेड डिवोशनल सर्विस इन ऑ एंड वेनरेशन वन मे गो टू वैकुंठ एंड अटेन द फोर काइंड्स ऑफ लिबरेशन सो व्हेन वन रेंडर्स डिवोशनल सर्विस थ्रू वैदि भक्ति एंड ही अटेंस परफेक्शन वेयर डज ही गो वैदि भक्ति goes to leads to vaikuntha and in vaikuntha one gets four kinds of liberation sarupya samipya salakya and shashti they get the liberation of the same kind of form of the lord they get ha huh, the liberation of being very close to the lord shamipya they have another kind of liberation called shalak to reside in the same planet with the lord and shashti having the same opulence as the lord so these are the four kinds of liberation in vaikuntha so <coughs> so krishna uh, then considered that they will go to vaikuntha they will get these four kinds of liberation then what will happen to their uh, loving devotion to me how will they get the get to know the braj of prem vrind love loving devotion of vrindavan so uh, krishna therefore considered that jugo dharma pravartai mu nam sankirtan chari bhav bhakti diya nachamu bhuvan i shall personally inaugurate the religion of the age nam sankirtan the congregational chanting of the holy name i shall make the world dance in ecstasy realizing the four mellows of loving devotional service आपनी ना आपनी करीमु भक्त भाव अंगीकारे आपनी आचरी भक्ति शिखाम सवारे आई शल एक्सेप्ट द रोल अफ ए डिवटी एंड आई शल टीच डिवोशनल सार्विस बै प्रैक्टिसिंग इट माइ सेल्फ 
আপনে না কইলে ধর্ম শিখানো না যায় এই তো সিদ্ধান্ত গীতা ভাগবতে গায় আনলেস ওয়ান প্র্যাকটিস ডিভোশনাল সার্ভিস হিমসেলফ হি ক্যানট টিচ ইট টু আদার্স দ্য কনক্লুশন ইজ ইন্ডিড কনফার্ম থ্রু আউট দ্য গীতা অ্যান্ড ভাগবত সো দিস পয়েন্ট হ্যাঁ ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট হিয়ার সো সি হোয়াট কৃষ্ণ কনসিডার্ড আফটার পারফর্মিং হিজ দোয়াপর লীলা where did he perform the dwapar leela in this age huh? who remembers in braja and in braja how many relationships are experienced there four in vaikuntha how many relationships are experienced two so huh? the other three relationship mainly namely sakhya vatsalya and madhur is not experienced in vaikuntha So Krishna considered that now I reveal my Vrindavan Leela, Braja Leela. But how will people enter, how will my devotees enter into Braja Leela? How will they enter into Braja Leela? Because they will worship me through Vaidhi Bhakti and finally achieving perfection in Vaidhi Bhakti, they will go back to Vaikuntha, they will go to Vaikuntha. So if they go to Vaikuntha, uh, how will they come to Braja? Therefore Krishna decided to come as a devotee. Now the secret is that when one, when one serves the Supreme Personality of Godhead through Vaidhi Bhakti, When one serves the Supreme Personality of Godhead through Vaidhi Bhakti, where does he go? Huh? He goes to Vaikuntha. But when one serves the Supreme Personality of Godhead as a devotee, then where does he go? Then he goes to Braja. So now you understand why Krishna came as a devotee? to make it make uh, it possible for us to enter into braja leela so if we want to enter into braja leela what do we have to do we have to serve shri chaitanya mahaprabhu through vaidhi bhakti and what is the what is the meaning of vaidhi bhakti vaidhi bhakti means following the rules and regulations of the scriptures you follow the rules and regulations of the scriptures where will you go follow uh, that is called vaidhi bhakti when you follow the rules and regulations of the scriptures it is called vaidhi bhakti bidhi the word vaidhi is coming from the word bidhi bidhi means rules and regulations and the rules and regulations are coming from where they coming from the scriptures so vaidhi bhakti now what is the vaidhi bhakti what is the bidhi in the scriptures of serving the lord as a devotee what is the vaidhi bhakti how is the lord as a devotee served according to the scriptural injunction huh sankirtan which verse very good the script which scripture shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam is saying krishna varnam tisha krishnam sangapangastra parshadam yagyai sankirtana prayair jajanti hi sumedhas <clears throat> krishna will appear in this age of kali it's forecasted in the scriptures will appear in the age of kali krishna varnam twisha akrishnam chanting this name to varnas krishna assuming the complexion which is non krishna 
what is non krishna or krishna is gaura uh, molten golden complexion so krishna will appear in the age of kali chanting the holy name of the lord krishna making everyone chant this name of krishna uh, assuming a golden complexion and how will he appear he will appear with his associates and uh, entourage and paraphernalia sanga pangastra parshadam and jagai sankirtana prayoyit he will inaugurate a very special kind of yagya yagya means generally people generally understanding is yagya means havan Uh, light the fire and put the havi mm, the offerings into that fire but this is uh, a very special type of yagya known as sankirtana yagya jagai sankirtana prayoy uh, and jajanti hi sumedha sah those who are intelligent they will worship him by this process of sankirtan yagya right so, so what is the vaidhi bhakti for worshiping the supreme personality of godhead when he comes as a devotee sankirtan yagya so if you want to go to how many of you want to go to braj and how many of you do not want to go to braj ha huh? how many of you do not and how many uh, do, did not decide whether to go to braj <laughs> huh? or not to go to braj <laughs> anyway huh? so if you want to go to braj if you want to go to braj don't don't talk don't talk in the class keep quiet don't talk i'll ask questions then you can talk. what is the braja lila i mean uh, what is the way to go to braja the way to go to braja is uh, the way to braja, go to braja is worshiping shri chaitanya mahaprabhu through sankirtan jagai sankirtan pray and jajanti hi sumedha sa those who are intelligent they will worship him through the sankirtan so is this point clear huh? this point yesterday i also briefly discussed about this point i'm repeating this point again and again because this is the most important consideration this is the most important consideration for us this point has been very elaborately very clearly established by nitananda prabhu so what is the point let us reiterate it now huh? that krishna appears the krishna the supreme personality of godhead swayam bhagavan appears once in a day of brahma in dwapar yuga and this was this previous dwapar yuga and after performing his braj lila krishna considers that i have revealed my braj lila but how will anyone enter into braja lila because the devotees will naturally serve me following vaidhi bhakti devotees will naturally serve me through vaidhi bhakti and by performing devotional service and vaidhi bhakti they'll go to vaikuntha therefore no one will have access to vrindavan therefore uh, i will come not as the supreme personality of god i will come as a devotee and when pe- devotees will worship me uh, following vaidhi bhakti my form as a devotee then they will get access to me now the equation is clear huh? one cannot go to vaikuntha following vaidhi bhakti devotees will always worship the lord following vaidhi bhakti huh? 
Because without Bhaiti Bhakti, uh, devotional service is not devotional service, it's a disturbance. Uh, Shruti, Smriti, Puranadi, Pancharatra, Bidhing Bina, Oikantiki, Harer Bhakti, Utpato, Eva Kalpati. Shruti, Vedas, Smriti, uh, the uh, supplementaries to the Vedas, Puranas, uh, and Pancharatra uh, scriptures. Without following the rules and regulations of the scriptures, if one renders devotional service, even though it may be oikantiki, meaning very, very sincere, even though that devotional service may be very sincere, but it will simply create disturbance. Utpato eva kalpate. Utpat means disturbance. So if devotional service is rendered without following the rules and regulations of the scriptures, it will simply create a disturbance. So a devotee must render devotional service following the rules and regulations. Because without following the rules and regulations, if one renders devotional service, it will simply create a disturbance. We are seeing uh, some uh, so-called big preachers and big sannasis, big leaders, spiritual leaders. Uh, they are introducing something without following the rules and regulations. But what is happening? Uh, they are simply creating a disturbance. They are not rendering devotional service to please Krishna. They are simply disturbing Krishna. Why? Because it is done without the rules and regulations of the scriptures. So, uh, now let us again consider the equation. Devotees must render devotional service following Bhaiti Bhakti. Rendering devotional service through Bhaiti Bhakti, one will go to Vaikuntha. Vraja is beyond Vaikuntha. If we get stuck in Vaikuntha, we won't be able to go to Vraja. <laughs> so how to then uh, go to Vraja? Therefore, Krishna came as a devotee. And when one renders devotional service to that devotee Krishna, following the rules and regulations of Bhaiti Bhakti, uh, which is Nam Sankirtan. Then he becomes eligible to enter into Braja. So, <clears throat> this is a very, very uh, important point for us to remember. Why? Because we must understand that Krishna has revealed his Braja Leela for the benefit of the living entities. And the same Krishna has come to make access to Brajalila, to enable us to enter into his Brajalila. And the way to do it is follow him, serve him, uh, serve Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, through Jagai Sankirtana Prayu. Now here I will another make another point. Uh, this may be a little difficult for uh, the, new, the new devotees to understand, but more experienced, more mature devotees will understand this point. Uh, it has been pointed out that it is through Raganuga Bhakti that one enters into Vrindavan. Uh, so please try to understand this point. It's a very, very important point. Uh, and if you... If you understand this point, then everything will become crystal clear to you. The way, as I mentioned earlier, the Bhaiti Bhakti leads to Vaikuntha. Beyond Vaikuntha is Braja. And the way to enter into Braja is through Raganuga Bhakti. So what is the meaning of Raganuga Bhakti? <clears throat> Raga Nuga, Rag means love. Uh, love. Anuga means uh, following. 
So the residents of Vrindavan, the Broja, Broja devotees, are known as uh, they are the they have deep loving relationship with Krishna. They are known as uh, uh, Ragatmika Bhaktas. In simple words, it can be considered as Premi Bhaktas. They have love. All they have for Krishna is love. They simply love Krishna. They don't have any other consideration. For example, uh, uh, once Rukmini Devi uh, wondered that why Krishna's uh, heart is always in Vrindavan. Uh, why Krishna is, all, although he is in Vaikuntha, although he is, he has, Vaikuntha has everything. All the opulence is there in Vaikuntha, in Dwarka. Uh, but why Krishna is not satisfied here in Dwarka? Why Krishna's heart is always in Vrindavan? Then you know what answer she got? The answer she got is, look, in Vrindavan, every tree is a desire tree. The land of Vrindavan is made of Chintamani. And all the cows in Vrindavan are Surabhi cows. So if they wanted, they could have had all the opulence in Vrindavan. Because Chintamani can give anything, uh, desire tree can provide anything that one wants, uh, and Surabhi cow can supply anything that one wants. So in Braja, Vrindavan, they could get anything that they wanted, they, that they want. But there they want only Krishna's love and nothing else. Their only desire is to simply love Krishna and nothing else. Now tell me, which is higher? Vaikuntha or Vrindavan? <laughs> Krishna, does he care for opulence or Krishna cares for love? Therefore Krishna is stuck in Vrindavan because of the love of the devotee. So all the devotees of Vrindavan are premi bhaktas, the loving devotees. And those devotees are known as Ragatmika. Their existence hmm, is simply based on their love for Krishna. Besides that they do not know anything. Ragatmika bhaktas. So when one follows the Ragatmika bhaktas, that becomes, huh, that becomes Raganuga bhaktas. So, Rupa Goswami made it very clear in the Nectar of Devotion that the way to enter into Vrindavan is by following one of the residents of Vrindavan. By following one of the residents of Vrindavan, only one can enter into Vrindavan. Otherwise, it's not possible. For example, once Lakshmi Devi uh, told Narayan, I want to see your Braja Leela, I want to see your Rasa dance. Narayan said, okay, then you have to follow one of the gopis of Vrindavan. Lakshmi said, how can I follow anybody? I am Lakshmi. <laughs> it's not possible for me to become subordinate to anybody. Then Narayan said, then forget it. <laughs> then forget enter into Vrindavan. Then Lakshmi Devi performed great austerities for a long, long time. And then Krishna came and asked Lakshmi, why are you performing this austerity? Then Lakshmi said, I want to enter into Braja, your Braja Leela. I want to watch, I want to see your Rasa dance. And then Krishna carried Lakshmi on his chest as Sri Vatsya. Uh, the Sri Mark, the Lakshmi Devi, is in Krishna's chest. In, that is why she is in Krishna's chest. And that's how she entered into Vrindavan. <clears throat> so even for Lakshmi Devi, uh, it's not possible to enter into Vrindavan without uh, following one of the residents of Vrindavan. The Braja Leela is. Now, let us consider uh, 
to raganuga bhakti means to follow a resident of vrindavan and that is the way to enter into vrindavan now who is the greatest devotee of vrindavan shrimati radharani and who is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he is krishna in the mood of shrimati radharani so when you follow shri chaitanya mahaprabhu who are you following shrimati radharani ah. therefore when you serve shri chaitanya mahaprabhu through sankirtan what what kind of devotional service you are rendering ah huh? although it is vaidhi bhakti it is raganuga bhakti so vaidhi bhakti is becoming raganuga bhakti in this way now this point is why this point is so clear because there are some less informed people who think that in order to enter into vrindavan i have to follow raganuga bhakti and what do i have to do i have to imagine that i have become one of the gopis or one of the sakhis or so and so forth uh, once in vrindavan uh, one devotee one of one disciple of prabhupada he was a sannyasi so one his one devotee came to the room and he found that he was moving in a very strange way <laughs> so he asked him hey what's happening so this sannyas is said you see i just found out that uh, my swarup in my swarup i am i am a peacock and <laughs> i am practicing to move like a peacock <laughs> and uh, soon after that he fell down he left his con so this is the danger that we run into some sort of unscrupulous people they give you uh, gives a misleading uh, ideas oh you are this huh? in your swarup you are this or you are that and huh, this way they get misled and prabhupad warned us repeatedly don't worry about your siddha swarup don't worry about your spiritual identity just serve the sankirtan movement and in course of time your swarup will become revealed because swarup is already there nitya siddha krishna prem sadha kobunay shrabonadi shuddha chitte karoy uday this is how simple this process actually is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu made it so simple what can be easier than this just serve the holy serve the supreme personality of godhead as a devotee uh, following the sankirtan movement <clears throat> and this sankirtan is synonymous to raganuga bhakti there is no difference between sankirtan and raganuga bhakti because by sankirtan we follow shri chaitanya mahaprabhu we follow krishna in the mood of shrimati radharani and krishna has come here in this way to open the gate of vrindavan so that we all can enter there so when he made this wonderful arrangement why should we try to concoct some other means as if chaitanya the process that chaitanya mahaprabhu gave is not good enough we have to get something else yes if you want to get something else then you will be you will get something what will you get you'll get maya you won't get krishna uh, if you are not satisfied with the process that chaitanya mahaprabhu gave if you are trying to get something else then you won't get krishna you'll get maya now the choice is yours uh, whom you want do you want krishna or do you want maya and if you follow the process it it will automatically become manifest to you you will see it that how uh, this wonderful process is taking a very very wonderful shape in the core of your heart so today is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's appearance day 
That's why uh, we have to very, very carefully uh, remember this point. Why he came and why should we follow him? And by following him, what will we benefit? And is there any other benefit that can compare to this benefit? So that is what we have to understand, that is what we must meditate on today, especially. And beg for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy on this very special day when he is very, very magnanimous. He is already extremely magnanimous and he has become even more magnanimous on this uh, Gaur Purnima day. And let us pray to him uh, that we can follow him without any deviation, without any interruption and we can become an instrument in his hand, in his Sankirtan movement and we can spread this Krishna consciousness movement to those who are around us in a most effective way because that's what he wants. He came to distribute this Krishna Prem and if he sees that we are also trying to distribute this Krishna Prem then he will become happy. And in this way very soon the whole world will become inundated with Krishna Prem according to his prediction. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Srila Prabhupada Ki Does anybody have any question or comment? Yes, Siddharam. After having read the Bible, now so many confusion about which way to go or what to do. My question is, in the... Okay, may, let me make this point clear to the devoted. That Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur uh, <coughs> wrote a book which is uh, called uh, the uh, uh, Satodushini uh, 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 Prakrita Rasa Satodushini yeah. uh, Prakrita Rasa means uh, Prakrita means mundane Rasa means mellow uh, for enjoyment uh, so uh, we mentioned about the mellows but there, that we discussed about the spiritual mellow, but there is also material mellow. Yeah. So what is the material mellow? Material mellow means uh, sense gratification. Uh, so some people, uh, they actually propagate mm, that uh, in the name of Krishna consciousness, they promote uh, material sense gratification. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur wrote this, which is actually uh, Satodushini Satodushani means a broom a broom what do you do with a broom? you sweep to clean so he wanted to keep the Vaishnav community clean uh, by keeping this garbage of mundane sense gratification away with this broom uh, so that is uh, he was, that's the point he was making that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarishi Thakur gave such a wonderful uh, formula to keep this nonsense of this Apasampradayas out of it, out of the Vaishnav community. Okay, go ahead now, Sitara. Raja Dham, go into the Brahma Vrindavan. Now, when Brahma created the universe, was Brahma Vrindavan existing? Or does it only come with Krishna and does it depart? Because now he says eternal here. Very good. Very good. Very good point. So, in the material nature, in, the, in this material universe, on this earth planet, there is a Vrindavan. So, his question is, did Brahma create that Vrindavan or Krishna brings that Vrindavan with him? Uh, Brahma doesn't actually have the ability to create Vrindavan. This Vrindavan Krishna brings with him. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also brings with him Navadhi. Shaparshad Shiyodham Shaho Avotari. 
और शांगो पांगास्त्र पार्षदम सो ही ब्रिंग्स द धाम विथ हिम Yeah. Okay, Hare Krishna. Yes, Jamuna uh, Priya. Guru Maharaj, I was wondering the relationship one has with Krishna is that decided by Krishna himself, and if that is the case, hmm. then uh, yeah. why is Vaikuntha? Yeah, right. Exactly. There? Very good point. Uh, yes, it is Krishna who decides, or Krishna gives it up to Yoga Maya to figure it out. And Jogomaya is like the director, like a director figures out which actor will play which role. Uh, Jogomaya kind of decides who will play which role in Krishna's pastimes. Uh, but ultimately, of course, it's Krishna's decision. Yes, Paru? <coughs> Krishna, for, uh, Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes only once in Brahma's day. So does Sri Prabhupada also comes only once following Sri Krishna and establish his con or does Prabhupada comes every Chaturyuga and establish his con? <coughs> uh, Krishna comes once in a day of Brahma and in the following Kali Yuga Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes and uh, then following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's plan Srila Prabhupada comes and then Prabhupada never leaves Prabhupada just stays here for 10,000 years to make sure that all of us uh, are properly situated in Krishna consciousness. All right, Pran Prabhupada is present in the form of ISKCON. Okay. Uh, Guru Maharaj, but is, it does ISKCON is, is present in every manantar and every chatur? No, no. There are 14 manantars, so. Only in Vaivashata manantar, yes. which is the seventh manantar, the 28th chatur yoga. Thank you. Right. Okay. Do you have a question? You? Yeah. You had so many questions then. <laughs> Maharaj, there was just a second part to my question. That hmm? if Krish there was a second part to my first question, which was that if Krishna is deciding our relationship and conjugal love is the highest, then why is there Vaikuntha? Because Krish Krishna wants that some people will some so spirit souls, most of the spirit souls will actually worship him through awe and reverence. Mm. Because in Vaikuntha, you see, that's the natural tendency for a living entity to be uh, uh, full of awe and veneration towards the Supreme Personality of God. Him. But it's only some special souls who have the prerogative of developing this friendship parental and conjugal relationship with Krishna and that is the highest mellow of loving exchange and Krishna uh, enjoys uh, these mellows in the topmost region of the spiritual sky with his most intimate devotees yes Krishna Hare Krishna uh, even those uh, devotees who are very advanced in Raganuga Bhakti, like the Acharyas, when they uh, perform their pastimes in this material world, you can see that uh, you know uh, they also stick to the rules and regulations of Vaidhi Bhakti uh, uh, to a great extent. Could you explain on uh, you know the reason and uh, why you know are the Acharyas also do that? Yes. The following the rules and regulations of the scriptures are essential uh, because otherwise there will be anarchy. Mm. So, especially spiritual life is, is uh, in a n designed in a very disciplined and systematic way. And those how to approach how to act, how to render devotional service have, has, have been very clearly described in the scriptures for our benefit. Right? So people in, in general have to follow. Even those who have developed their loving relationship with Krishna, they also you know, follow the Bhakti. 
बिकॉज अदर अदरवाइज जद जद आचरते श्रेष्ठ श्लोक स्तर अनुवर्त थे लाइक इफ एट एन एडवांस स्टेज इफ वन स्टार्ट टू नॉट टू फॉलो बाई दी भक्ति देन एवरी वन विल से वेल लेट्स फॉलो हिम देर इज नो नीड टू फॉलो बाई दी भक्ति एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट देर विल बी अ डिस्टर्बेंस लाइक एन एग्जाम्पल कैन बी गिवेन the king uh, uh makes the law for the common people and this law is not meant for king's own people right they can do whatever they want to do now king made a law that one should drive on the right hand side of the road right now king's people and even king himself when he drives on the road he follows his own law because if he does not then others will not also follow the rule and regulation so that's why jad jad acharat is shrestha whatever the great man does common man follows so if the great great man breaks the rules and regulations the common man also will break the rules and regulations as it is happening now no one for especially in some parts of india they don't follow rules and regulations even the government officials don't follow. even the policemen don't follow rules and regulations those who are supposed to make the rules and keep the law in order if they don't follow how can you expect any rules and regulations and that's why there is total chaos but the proper system is to establish rules and regulations yes manu my question is that prior to appearance of chatan mahaprabhu so many acharyas have come like ramanuja acharya etc so the followers of those acharyas will they not be able to go to vrajdham will they only attend vaikuntha all the other four sampradayas uh, yes vaishnav sampradayas uh, but their destination is vaikuntha because uh, you know it's only chaitanya mahaprabhu who actually made vrindavan accessible and they are also avail they can come join mahaprabhu sankirtan movement and go to vrindavan many many vaishnavas did that like prabodhananda saraswati gopal bhatt they were from god they were from sri sampradaya ramanuja sampradaya but they join mahaprabhu and uh, like became uh, gauriya vaishnavas yes guru maharaj at the time of sankirtan yagya uh, we should offer our love to chaitanya mahaprabhu or to radha krishna <laughs> there is no difference chaitanya mahaprabhu is radha krishna right so shri krishna chaitanya radha krishna nahi on श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज नॉन अदर देन राधा एंड कृष्ण बट द मूड द वे टू डू द वे टू वर्शिप हिम विल बी इन द मूड ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु आई मीन रेकग्नाइजिंग दैट ही इज दैट वी आर ऑफरिंग इट टू हिम बट देन अगेन एट द सेम टाइम एट द बैक ऑफ आर माइंड वी नो दैट इज राधा कृष्ण दैट ही इज राधा कृष्ण guru mara because when we chant hari krishna mahamant when we start from shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityanand at that time we uh, actually i remember chaitanya mahaprabhu and as i start hari krishna hari krishna i remember hari krishna yeah okay okay yeah, yeah. but, but when, when you are chanting hari krishna mahamantra then you have to see it as radha krishna that hari krishna mahamantra is indicating hara krishna hara is shrimati radha rani and krishna Mm. So, so by, by rendering devotional service to chaitanya mahaprabhu eventually we will get to see chaitanya mahaprabhu as radha krishna and, and by, by chanting hare krishna mahamantra eventually we will get to see that this hare krishna mahamantra is indicating shri chaitanya mahaprabhu <laughs> so it will work both ways <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, Jayadev. Without mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, no one can reach. So, should we first uh, try to please Nityananda Prabhu? You see, Nityananda Prabhu is declaring. Jatishtang re bhato kuru hori hori dhano manisham tato ba shangsharam budhi tarano dayo mohi laget. He is saying, my dear brothers, you just chant the holy name of the Lord. Hori hori dhano manisham tato ba shangsharam budhi tarano dayo mohi laget. Then I will become responsible to take you across the material nature. So when you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, naturally Nityananda Prabhu will be extremely pleased. And he'll engage you in the service of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hano Nitai Vine Bhai Radha Krishna Paite Nai. Without the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, one cannot get Radha Krishna. And who is Radha Krishna? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. Give him that. Uh, who is superior in Sudamas and Gopis? Well, according to the understanding of Melos, the Gopis are in a, situated in a si higher position. And Sudama is in Shakharas, Gopis are in Madhurjaras. We have a, there was a question here? Yes. Maharaj, if a living entity has attained Vaikuntha, is it possible for the living entity to progress to Vraja or is he kind of stuck there? Or if a living entity is in Vaikuntha, is he stuck there or he can get promoted to Vrindavan, Braja, right? That's your question. <coughs> you see, in Brihad Bhagavatam Ritam, that point has been dealt with. Vaikuntha has different regions, like upper region of Vaikuntha is Ayodhya. And beyond Ayodhya is Dwarka. Uh, so that's the Dwarka is the topmost region of Vaikuntha. So Brihad Bhagavatam Ritam is describing the journey of a devotee, Gop Kumar, to this back to the spiritual sky. So Gop Kumar went to Vaikuntha. From Vaikuntha he was promoted to Ayodhya. Then he was promoted to Dwarka. And in Dwarka also, he was associating with the, I mean, he was getting the association of Krishna and uh, the queens and they were dealing with him most affectionately. But still his heart was not content. So one day Narad Muni came there and saw him, saw his condition. So Narad Muni asked him, what's the matter? You are in Dwarka, you are having the association of the Lord. You are receiving so much affection from the queens. They treat you like their own son. And still your heart is not content. Then he started to tell him that yes, that's true. You see, my heart is yearning for a cowherd boy who wears a peacock feather on his head who plays flute and who tends cows in the forest with his friends. My heart is yearning to be with him. So then Narad Muni told him that, look, your relationship is with Krishna of Vrindavan. Now, in order to go to Vrindavan, you have to go back to the earth planet. In Vrindavan there, home of Vrindavan. And there you must perform Sankirtan. Calling out to the Lord with all the love of your heart. Hey Govinda, hey Gopal. And that is how you'll become qualified to go to Vrindavan. So the point is, uh, yes, even from Vaikuntha, even from Dwarka, one cannot enter into Vrindavan. One has to come back to the earth planet. In the earth, home of Vrindavan, he'll have to perform the Sankirtan. And then he will become eligible to go to Vrindavan. Can you imagine how fortunate you are? 
you have the option, you have the opportunity to be on the earth planet, uh, you have access to Sankirtan, and now what can stop you from going to Vrindavan? You'll bypass Vaikuntha and go to Vrindavan. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Okay, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bol, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki, Sri Sri Gaur Purnima Mahatsav ki, Sri Gaur Nithai ki, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan Lalita Vishakha Devi ki, Sri Sri Krishna Balaram Sandipani Muni ki, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Gaur Premanande Ki